This video will demonstrate how to do a driver vehicle inspection report on your Omnitrax IVG after you've completed your Schedule 1 pre-trip inspection. First go to the Workflow button at the top right corner. Under the Inspections tab, you want to make sure Driver Vehicle Inspection Form is selected and click Select. Under the Driver Vehicle Inspection Form options, you have the first one, which is a tractor inspection. We will click Yes. Trailer number one inspection, Yes. Trailer number two only means if you have a combination, such as a B train. So if you have only one trailer hooked, click No. And then the converter inspection, and if no defects are found, yes or no. Under the equipment, trailer number one ID, you'll want to put your trailer number, your plate number, and the province or state. If a defect was found, under code, you want to take the code that corresponds to the defect on your Schedule 1 sheet inside your binder. You would put it there and in your own words describe the problem and select whether it's a tractor or trailer. In this case, under the type of inspection, this will be a pre-trip inspection. You also have an en-route inspection and your post-trip inspection, which is the same process. Is a vehicle safe to operate? Yes. We are a CTPET certified courier. Inside your binder, you will see a 17-point inspection form for the CTPET. After you've completed that inspection, and everything is okay. Then you click on the box here for the CT pad. We don't deal with food inspection, so you don't need to select that one. You click I agree, drop down the menu here, and click done. And your inspection is complete.